the girls have uh, worked really hard. Number one on their tribal ball teams, they've really um, been competitive. They've kind of disbanded and done their own things and really been able to work on stuff on their own and things like that. And so when we've come together, we've been able to really focus. They've been able to figure out what they do wrong and, and things like that. And we've really been able to target, you know, strength, strengths and weaknesses this year and work on work on that. So I think the, the major thing is, is that the girls are starting to understand and have been be able to work on, you know, what they need to work on and uh, been open-minded more this year in the past, than in the past. And, and really, like I, like I said before, they just, they're working hard. They know what they need to do and they can see it. And they've made a goal. They set a goal for themselves this year and they want to be in the top two in the region, you know, and they're, they're working hard for it. Being in the top two in the region, obviously you had to beat Dawson last week for that to even be anything, anything that you could accomplish. You all able to do that. Talk a little bit about that game, if you will. It was, uh, very emotional. They knew what they had to do. You know, we lost to them earlier in the season, and it was a it was a heartbreaker because, you know, we came out a little flat that first game. But uh, but this one, they stayed up the whole game, and um, we got some clutch hits when we needed it. And um, defense has just been stellar. So, and Natalie Winters, our pitcher, our senior pitcher, has just come. She's really been working hard. You know, we've been riding her back this second half of the season she's been just killing it like I said before we we uh we just got some clutch hit and you know once you get one it all just is like a ricochet effect and they all they all believe that they could do it and they did and I was talking to a a girl um that had graduated a couple years ago and she said you know as as long as she had been playing softball at East Hall they hadn't beat Dawson so this was a huge game that was a huge game for us to win Natalie Winters that's the name that, that we hear a lot coming out of, yes. of East Hall County and, and with good reason. What is it about her that allows you, that allows the team to be able to count on her uh, night in, night out um, in the pitching circle? Well, she is she is very confident on the play, uh, on the mound. She knows what we need of her, and she knows that she's got to stay up, that she sets the tone for the game on defense. You know, we hadn't been putting her in the lineup because we, we really need to focus on, on her pitching and she uh you know when our second pitcher went down we just told her you know we've got you've got to come ready to play every day every game day you know and and you'll get rest when you need it she's really been great she's been a great leader on and off the field the girls really look up to her we're just really proud of how she's been pitching this past couple weeks you're staring Buford in the face right now uh and and looking up at them in the region standings when you hear that the Lady Wolves Beat Lassiter, ranked in Class Six A, nine to nothing uh-huh. this past weekend. Uh, talk about the the Buford program and and really what you think it would take for any school in Seven AAA, not just East Hall, but any school in Seven AAA to to get over that Buford hump. I think I definitely think you know we lost to them ten to two. We were we got up on them at their place two nothing in the beginning, and we were able to hold them defensively. We've just got to be able to make the defensive plays and be able to pitch around. I mean, they're just natural hitters, and you just can't beat the the hitting aspect of it. We just got to stay up like we have been, get past the pitching hump, and, and, you know, pitch it where they're not going to be able to hit it. So that's the biggest goal right now. I want to wrap up with this. Obviously, your goals, the team's goals, go beyond just being second in in region. You all playing the caliber of softball that uh, could mean a a run – in the state playoffs, have you all talked that far ahead? Have you looked that far ahead? And if, if so, what, what's the feedback that you're getting from the girls, and how confident are they that goals can be met? They know that what our goal is in region. We haven't looked past region because anything in our region tournament can happen, and it has happened in years past. You know, we're trying to take one game at a time and then get ready for October 5th at Lanier Point when, when we have the region tournament. So we really haven't talked much about that. We've got to get over this these um, region games first. Like I said, that's our goal right now. But the girls, they have just been, you know, they've they've really um, emotionally and physically been understanding of, you know, they have goals for themselves and they set team goals and they're really working hard for it. I mean, they're staying up, they're staying positive, and that was one of our goals this year is positivity, to stay positive and knock it down. 
you know, throughout the season as well as throughout the game. So I think I think they have a they see it, but I think we're not we're you know, we're all kinda sitting back and, and working on, you know, like I said, one game at a time and try to make the most of that and then we'll work on the region tournament when, when that comes around.